Now to what could be one of the races of the games. Shawnee Miller-Webo, the double Olympic champion, could she be about to become the world indoor champion? And how fast can she run? Dare we even think about Krakosh Villava's world record? Stephanie Ann McPherson, just off the podium last year, 33 years young, she's got masses of experience. Femme Cabal, third fastest in history at 400 hurdles, a brilliant 400 flat performer. She was flat on her face in the semis, but she looks OK. Justini Sweetie Ursacic of Poland. No Polish medal in this event. Is that going to change? In the land of her near neighbours. Elia Abrams of Guyana, semi-finalist in Doha and Tokyo. She's made the big one here tonight. Could she have an impact? And the second of our Dutch athletes, Lika Klava. 4x4 four four gold in the European indoors last year. She tends to go off very, very hard and fade. Could she amend those tactics and get in the shake-up for a medal? So much going on in the stadium. This is the kind of moment when athletics really sings. We are fully focused on the track. Boll against Miller Weibo for the 400-metre title. No Bahamian has ever won the title. No Dutch woman has ever won a medal. The stage is set for a fantastic final over two laps in Belgrade. Boll in four, Miller Weibo in six. Watch for Miller Weibo going hard on the outside. She says that it's too tight over 200 and she can't always get into her rhythm. She got a bronze a few years ago and said she was finished with indoor running. Miller Weibo on the left of picture. Femke Boll coming past McPherson. And Clava has run a little more conservatively on the first lap. But it's Miller Weibo as they take the bell. Femke Boll is just behind. It's the raw pace of the Olympic champion against the strength of the hurdler. Don't rule out McPherson. And Sweetie Ursatic is still in the mix here. Miller Weibo rounding this last bend. She's beginning to pull away. She's trying to make history for the Bahamas, and she's going to do it. Shawnee Miller Weibo tying up, but it doesn't matter. It's gold for the Olympic champion. Silver for Femke Boll. The great duel, the great rivalry did unfold. But in the end, the Olympic champion had the strength and the belief to withstand the late charge from the Dutch woman. Miller Weibo makes history for the Bahamas. The Olympic champion becomes the world indoor champion. Femke Bol over the moon with that silver medal and Stephanie Ann McPherson coming through for a national indoor record the veteran at 33 completing the podium how impressive was that really good Shawnee Miller Weibo just that was the best way for her to run this that was the simplest way but she didn't control her pace in that first 200 she had the advantage of being on the outside lane being able to feel her way into the race and just do enough to get ahead and you can see she saved something on the back straight i'm sure she's watched numerous videos of live races of femke bowl flying down that back straight putting pressure on her competitors she kicked down that back straight just sucked the belief out of femke bowl there femke bowl could not get on terms with the tall bahamian Stephanie Ann McPherson has had a really good campaign here at those, these World Indoor Championships, and she's rewarded with a brilliant bronze medal. Miller Weibo making history for the Bahamas. Femke Boll smiling, and she should be for the silver, and McPherson taking the bronze. I'm delighted to be joined by Keely Hodgkinson in the commentary box hello. unable to see hello <laughs> unable to see her in the 800 meters and i gather you're really good friends with femke ball so you too will be delighted that she's come home so close behind one of the all-time greats miller Weibo. yeah femke i've got to know femke over the last couple of years as we've um, we've got the same agent but uh, yeah she ran really well i think after the semi-finals when she fell over she might have learned from that i see she got out harder uh, but miller Weibo was always going to be really hard to beat but she should be really proud of herself 
And I think it should also be said, you've made a decision with real maturity because people would have had you as one of the favourites, if not the favourite, come the 800 metre final. A little bit of a niggle. You've decided discretion is the better part of valour and all roads lead to Oregon for the summer and then followed by the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Yes, um, unfortunate for myself. Uh, I am really gutted to miss out on the World Indoor Championships, but yeah, I think a mature decision, you know, for me and my team. Um, all lies on, do lead to Oregon now and the Commonwealth and Europeans, very big year ahead. So yeah, that's what's important and uh, we'll get myself right and healthy and we'll move on from this. <laughs> And how good has it been from an athlete's perspective to be performing in front of big, vociferous crowds once again? Oh, I know, it's really good. I managed to experience it in Birmingham. Um, unfortunately, I haven't, didn't step out on the track today, but uh, yeah, it's nice to have that atmosphere in, you know? Um, it really, I think it boosts performances, it makes people feel good, and it's nice that families can come as well again, which is nice, you know? I know some people haven't seen their, their children maybe run in, in a couple of years, so it's really good. And great to have you with us in the commentary box. Stick around for another few minutes. Mila Weibo, the champion. She's amazing, I have to say. <laughs> Shawna Mila Weibo takes gold. Another glorious moment for the Bahamian. She's one of the all-time greats. Femke Boll, no disgrace with that silver medal. And Stephanie Ann McPherson, a national indoor record. The veteran taking the bronze.